Let's share this. Um... None of us would be here today without farming. Exactly. None of us would be here without farming. It was the uh, first technology humans ever invented. Actually, no, it was fire, but then farming. This guy wouldn't be here without farming. This guy's my hero. <laughs> so, what is this? Portland man plows through the grand floral parade barricades. This, this okay, because like I, I feel this way so often when I'm driving. Um, it's not really parades that I deal with, but it's it's I've noticed this phenomenon where people who buy Kias don't seem to understand how to accelerate their Kia. Like, it's, this has happened to me so many times where I'm stuck behind someone in a Kia. And, like, where, where I drive, right, so going to my farm, like, when you're in town, the speed limit is 25 miles per hour. But it's a really retarded speed limit because there's only, like, I don't even think there's 10,000 people that live in my town, okay? Like, there's no re and it's no... Like, there's not children playing nearby. There's, there's no reason that it should be as low as 25. So when I'm, like, in town, I'm doing 30. And then when I get past, like, the Walmart, I'm doing, like, 45. Because there's no reason to do 25. And I've never seen... And a lot of people do, okay? A lot of people out there driving over the speed limit, not getting pulled over by cops. It's wonderful. But then I get behind a Kia that drives 20 miles per hour, or even 15, like under the already too damn low speed limit. And this is why I've come to the conclusion that the Kia boys, uh, much like Thanos, are a natural phenomenon that are bringing balance to the universe, okay? So if you're an old lady who drives your Kia 10 miles under the speed limit that's already too low, a... Um, a uh, young future rocket surgeon needs to take your Kia and do 90 in a crowded neighborhood. Okay, this is the universe balancing itself out. And uh, it looks like, looks like Trump has entered the podcast. That's, that's interesting. Anyway, let's watch this dude who is my hero. Oh my God. Huh? I'm stuck on the fucking freeways all over the place. They got it all blocked off. The lights in an exit. The it's all blocked off. Exit. Every motherfucking exit. You bum <laughs> God, I feel this guy's pain. I feel it. <laughs> I like his, uh, oh, that's not, I like his, uh, I like his soundtrack that he's, that he's about to commit all these crimes to. Yeah, actually, I think we're gonna mute that, because it's probably heckin' illegal copywritten music. Um, let's, let's fast forward to where it gets good. Yeah, this is where it gets good. Hell yeah, fuck those cones. <laughs> <laughs> You're telling me I can't? Oh, fuck your barrier. <laughs> I got four-wheel drive for a reason, bitch. <laughs> Bro's got a GTA mode. <laughs> Actual GTA mode, dude. Holy shit, he's actually, like, good. Did you see that? Yeah. That was so clean. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Holy this, shit. I tell you, I love this guy. This, this guy, like, this, this, was, yep, yeah, do it. Fuck all of these people. All of you. Why are you in the streets? Why are you in my, <laughs> oh, can't go that way. <laughs> dude, he, dude, that, that fucking side drive and then getting through, dude, that was so clean. <laughs> Holy shit. God, this, this guy's my hero. Dude, if I was like Team Ferrari, I'd hire this guy immediately. But like, yo. Right? This man clearly has some skill. <laughs> Just, just no fucks given. Just driving through the, and then I think a cop's gonna come up on a on a bike pretty soon, <laughs> on a or Lord on a bike. motorcycle. Yeah, and just yeah, there you go. Ignore him. No, what are you talking about? I'm gonna call Lester real quick <laughs> and remove my yeah, water. Call Lester, get my water level off. <laughs> <laughs> you just told him to fuck off. Get out of here. <laughs> 
I wish I wish he would have like rolled down the window and been like, I'm white, sir. It's all right. I'm yeah. not Ahmed. I'm not going to run people over. <laughs> this isn't uh, what was that, that in, in, in Nice, France, right? Where like they creamed some terrorist creamed a bunch of people with a truck the van. Yeah. Yeah. An assault, an assault van. Yeah, we got, so I got uh, a So what, what would he even be charged with? Like just reckless driving? He's getting charged with everything, dude. Are you kidding me? Like, because. I mean, it, it depends on how they want to charge him. And I think this guy also um, had some priors for something else. I think he's like a, well, I think he might be a sex offender. I'm not entirely sure. I, I think I read that somewhere. But, um, you know, endangerment, um, what, what, you know, reckless, well, way more than reckless driving. I mean, um, I don't know if it would be attempted murder because it's not like premeditated, but like definitely attempted manslaughter, fleeing and evading. I mean, that's that's a felony. He's he's. Oh, yeah, that that right there is a felony. Yeah, because yeah. he's he's fled the cops twice now. Um, <laughs> and, you know, like and, and there's going to be civil shit, too, because, you know, like one of these people that moved is like, ow, my leg. Like a, so there's going to be civil fines. There's his emotional damage. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. Like this guy, this guy's going in for a little bit. Yeah, it's like, oh man, it's it's just <laughs> he's my hero. Let's see, does it actually go to when he gets pulled over? No, nah, like he's he's pretty much he's pretty much out of it at this point, out of the uh... <laughs> out of the. Um... That's when you go. That's the the later part in the video they don't show you is he goes to. San Andreas Autos and gets his car resprayed. Yeah, right. He goes to the pay and spray. <laughs> San Andreas okay. Customs. Oh yeah, I saw this one when I was overseas. Yeah, I remember. Like, like half a second, I was like, I wonder if this is Kenny. No, 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 no. Because no. here's so here's here's the thing, right? There's this then I guy. realized what actually happened. Yeah. Yeah. So let's uh, let's show the folks. Um, so this this guy who um, is also a hero, um, he uh, took he he took a a, a little he, he changed up the uh, the tannerite filled dog right because you know if you want to have protection from the ATF the trick is you get a you get a stuffed dog and you fill it with tannerite and they just can't help themselves okay when they're when they're coming to seize your uh modified weapons okay they're going to shoot all of your pooches but if you just so happen to fill the stuffed dog with tannerite and and nails and other stuff that creates a bunch of great shrapnel in minecraft um there may or may not be effect in effect but this guy here i mean he uh <laughs> He's he's a pretty cool guy. Police out here raiding his house probably for some nonsense. Just just cuz he's a just cuz he's an unlicensed pharmaceutical manufacturer. Okay, licenses are hard to get. I'm trying to get licenses to sell stuff from my farm and it's a pain in the ass. I'm probably going to take the Joel salad in a pro. Now here's my question. Raid this, How? bitch! That, that was my first reaction, was like, the ATF can't raid your house if there <laughs> is no house. Exactly. My second question is, how the fuck did the house to the left of it oh. come out completely unscathed? Nope. <laughs> yep, that's right. Swap out, swap out the pigs for firefighters. Our job is done here, boys. <laughs> we got enough people killed. We're good. God, this guy, this guy took the Claymore Roomba to another level. He's like, if I fire the Claymore Roomba at all these propane tanks <laughs> and these gas canisters. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, that was that was great. 